Um, my name is Anna Casey. I'm, I'm from Ballymahan here, just local in Longford. I'm from a farm myself. My dad's a farmer, so I've grown up farming, housing him out. And this here was my first job, was working as a farmhand here. So the day of the incident, it was like any other morning, really just done the, the ordinary jobs and, and then came up and started agitating. The way it started was the agitator broke down, so they had to take it away. And we waited uh, half an hour, which is the recommended time. And I walked back in, through, in here to the robot rooms and we had to duck down to get into the gate that was there at the time. So when I ducked down, I kind of hit the heavy gas that was lying because it's kind of heavier than air. Like my eyes started watering and I got a split and headache. And I rang Keith who was up here. And when he answered the phone, I didn't answer because I'd already like passed out. I got a phone call from Ella, but she didn't say anything on the phone. So I ran downstairs straight away and started looking for her and I found her uh, on the floor, unconscious. I picked her up and ran outside with her and lay her down on the ground outside and rang Dad. I, I got the phone call, I was down in the other yard, uh, that Ella had collapsed. I guessed straight away what was after happening. We came up here as fast as uh, we possibly could. Uh, we rang uh, 999, there was ambulances, helicopters, the whole lot here, um, she was in a bad way. I was working at home on my own farm with my daughter B, and uh, we got a phone call to say Ella fainted. When we arrived, there was a smell of slurry. She was lying on the ground, almost lifeless. That had a terrible effect on me. I wouldn't wish it on any family, anywhere in the world. Well, I was proud of Kate, but like he could have easily gone down as well. Like he done obviously the right thing. He got Ella out, uh, but he he was at severe risk himself. One good breath, and he was down as well. So um, look, it, it all ended up good, but only just, only just.